Hey guys, it's Annie and today I'm going to do another um, what's in my ball bag but the topic of shoes came up like just in the past two three seasons I've gone through so many pairs of shoes and as a pitcher I wanted to share my information and my knowledge on shoes with you guys who are pitchers. For shoes my absolute go-to are ringers. Um, these are my two current shoes. These are turf shoes that I wear indoors for training and then these are my metal spikes that I wear all the time when we're outside. Um, so yeah, like I said, these are my current indoor shoes that I always wear. I wear them for practice and I wear them for when I'm at the gym because they mold to, my, they mold to your feet really, really well once you get used to them. One of the reasons why I really, really like them is because they're super, super durable. Um, like I said, because I am a pitcher, so they have the pitching toe on it, on both of them. Um, so I don't blow through another pair of runners. I went through two pairs of runners last year. It's annoying. I know. So yeah, they're super durable. They're really cheap, and they're really, really good quality. I say cheap because if you live in the States, it'll be like... 10, 15 dollars more for shipping, but because I live in Canada, the shipping rate, exchange rate, and then the taxes um, make it expensive, so I had to pay back my mother, and it was not fun, <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm thankful that she got them for me because these came just in time for um, our winter training last season. And for my other pair of ringers, I got the Diamond Bandit 2 in gray and black. So this is what this look, these look like. And I also got it with turf, not turf toe, pitching toe um, for pitching. These are, or were, these were my second pair of metal cleats last season because, um, like I said, they're cheaper to buy in the States than they are to ship to Canada because of all the exchange rate and all that. Um, so yeah. These were my first, ooh, these are my first pair of medals last season and my first pair of medals just in general. Um, they were, they are the Mike Trout they're from the Mike Trout Nike season. These are, oh my God. These were my first pair of medals. Um, they're from the Mike Trout baseball collection from like two years ago, I think. I got them because I wanted medals and because we were allowed to wear medals for the first time last season. Um, for our age group, so yeah, um, they were really comfortable and I really liked how they were like high top, but not really high top, if that makes sense, um, because I do have ankle issues, so these gave a little bit more support, and for the tongue, it's not like your standard tongue where it comes up like this. It was sort of just there. One thing I didn't like about these was they didn't have the toe protection as my ringers do because these are baseball cleats and I didn't put turf toe on them because I couldn't find it. Um, and this is the only downfall to not doing that is the little cuts and holes from pitching. Um, but I think other than that, Nike, softball wise and baseball wise, cause these are baseball cleats. Um, overall, Nike makes pretty decent shoes. And then in um, Ringer, they, they do have the toe guard, except I don't really drag where it's supposed to protect. I drag my toe down here. So all of this in comparison to this, this cleat, all of my bottom half of my shoe is starting to get ruined 
from pitching. You can see the little nubs uh, right there starting to poke out in there, as well as the metal is starting to get um, worn down from dragging. Oopsies. But other than that, I mean, these these were pretty easy to break in in compared to these ones because I think they are I think these were the bandits and these are the diamond bandits so the diamond bandit is easier to break in than these ones the bandit um, because I wore these to practice just a couple of days after they arrived and me being me uh, I didn't bring an extra pair of shoes because I thought these would be fine. I had to take them off halfway through practice because we were doing a lot of running. Uh, because my feet weren't just weren't um, used to the shoe yet, and the shoe hadn't mm. excuse me, the shoe hadn't molded to my foot. Um, but it takes about three to four months to break these in, just because of the quality and durability. But once you do break them in. They're really, really solid and they fit your feet really, really well because it does mold around your foot type. So because I have really narrow feet, it molded around my narrow feet so I can tie it tighter than most people, I guess. Just a word of advice, if you do get these, wear them around the house, wear them during gym class. Just don't wear them outside because these are precious and they're turf shoes and they're meant for indoors and not outdoors. Yeah, uh, that was today's video. I hope you like it. Please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to be not notified if and when I update. And also leave a comment below if you're a pitcher. Shout out to you pitchers. We do all the hard work. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below if you're a pitcher. Or if you do play softball, I want to know what position you play because it interests me to know what you guys do. And I will see you with another video, hopefully soon. Yeah, have fun, um, do good in school, and I will see you soon.